Hello and welcome. This is Brandon Wendell, Charter Market Technician, and I'm going to go uh, go ahead, excuse me, and go over some of the futures markets for the energies. And I'm starting off on crude oil here. You can see the crude oil is fighting to reach the prior highs about above eighty one dollars. Problem is, if even if it does, we don't have the momentum to sustain that. You can see right now that the momentum is completely shot compared to where we were in the previous rally. So a lot more weakness going on there. We are making higher lows, higher highs. So a weekly chart, definitely an uptrend. Just not sure how long that's going to be sustainable. Actually, I also want to bring in moving average. Yep, that's very bullish now. This is the 13-week moving average, which works very, very well for identifying changes in trend. And we've got closes above that right now. So we have definitely officially gone back into a bullish trend if you haven't already seen it. So... Dropping down into smaller time frame, we'll go down to the daily chart and just kind of see what's going on as the markets are opening on Sunday evening. So, let's see, I believe it is. Yeah, we got the open already here as the bell rang. Uh, overall, higher lows, higher highs on the daily still. No divergence here, so still looking at somewhat of strength. Actually, I want to go back to that weekly for a moment. Yeah, we were good to make a new high because the move up started with the RSI above 40, so that's usually indicative of new highs being made. So I wouldn't be surprised to see new highs being made this week. We may get a little pullback first. Don't be surprised. But if we do, look for a bounce. This is not the best of demand zones, really. We have drop, base, base, rally with some follow through, but it didn't breach prior highs. So not the strongest of demands. Be very cautious there. Look for confirmation, basically, if you're looking to go long there. If we do go higher, first of all, we should be seeing... Yeah, we haven't quite tapped out yet i think we should go a little higher before we stall out anyway to our demand but once we do bounce from the 76.99 i would expect targets of 85 59 or 88 just keep going don't fight the trend just let it take you where it wants to go way down on the four hour time frame you can see that this area is also a zone so we can kind of fine tune this a little bit actually i'll just adjust it right there I believe, yeah, we have drop base rally right there. And there might be an even easier way to get in if you can get in around the 77.53, 76.73 before we hit that higher time frame daily demand. But it does look like this is still extremely bullish. And if you're trying to measure out some of these smaller impulses rather than that big daily one, let's see what we got going on there. And you can see we stalled out here. So next target is pretty much the same overlay route, just above 81, about 81, 81 and a quarter. So we should expect prices to move up into that area. Going down into the 60 minute time frame, nothing much changing there. You know, we stalled out at the end of the week, last week here at pretty much this little bit of buying pressure. I wouldn't call it really a great demand zone, but if we're trying to fine tune some entries, you got maybe no it's about the same honestly i was gonna say it's a rally based rally but no it's drop base rally right there strong demand 77 15 76 73 if we do happen to drop down to that area there's a supply zone here first drop base drop so if we happen to rally a little bit and stall out it would be counter trend but you could get a counter trend play down to the 77 before you go long Again, from 77.15 all the way up to above 81, about 81 and a quarter is what I'd look for. Moving over to Nat Gas. Again, starting off with the big picture, work my way down from there, and we'll start with a clean chart. And we've got a big gap up this week. Just kicked off this week with a big gap up, but I don't expect a lot of movement out of that. We'll go down to actually bring in that same moving average. Curious. Yeah, we're still very, very bearish. You can see once you close below that 13 period moving average, you're destined for some fresh lows. So, oops, take that off. It's just on the weekly charts. We go down to the daily and don't really have anything overhead as far as supply, but we're trying to break out of this sideways motion we were in. The fact that we gapped up but couldn't exceed this area of, of selling pressure and we could not get above 60 is a little bit of a warning sign. So watch to see if the RSI on the daily can get above 60. If it can, there's nothing to hold us down. I mean, we can go all the way back up here. That's your first supply. It's not even a great one, to be honest with you. But again, there's not a whole lot of strength in price right now either. So this could just be a false breakout before we slam back down to the bottom of the sideways range we've been trading in for a while. We bring in... 
a rectangle here, you'll kind of see what I mean by the sideways motion. Uh, let's see. Take that off. I guess it's okay right about here. And with the settings. There we are. You can actually see price there. So that's kind of what we're in, that sideways motion. Usually when you break out, you end up slamming in the opposite direction to the bottom of the range. So I wouldn't be surprised to see this dropping back down to three and a half very, very quickly if we can't get above 60 on the RSI. Now, if we do pick up bullish momentum, obviously things can change. So getting into the smaller time frame, you still see the same origin of selling pressure here. Although I'm gonna to go to a clean chart here, start off looking at this a little bit closer. I'm gonna do this right. And I don't really have a good zone here. There's too much basing, but it was there on the daily, as I mentioned. If we are to break a little higher, I would watch out for it to stall out. Price, that is, to stall out right around this 4489 to 4617. And just above that, there's another zone as well. So I can't imagine us being able to, to really push through this week beyond all those levels. So go back to where we were here. We are still getting some bullish pressure, but again, we still need to breach these highs and do it with the RSI on the daily chart getting above 60. The high that I'm talking about is about 4.256 to watch for. If we fail to do so, look for a nice drop and you know, we'll probably have to go to a smaller time frame to find a shorting entry and just hold on to it for a little while because there's really nothing except for the bottom of the range to target. And the bottom of that range is somewhere in the neighborhood of 3.557. So I'll drop down to a 60 minute time frame just to get a little bit more fine tuning of everything. Nothing changes, absolutely nothing. So we look at the 60 minute area of supplies that we're coming into right now. And there's nothing there as fresh. So other than it not having enough momentum to sustain the move, there's no supply that would likely push prices down from here until we reach maybe 4.308. So again, this is from a higher time frame. Let's change the color so I know. There we go. So we are still currently tagging that 4185 and starting to push back down to close the gap. I wouldn't be surprised to see us close the gap by Monday morning. And then, like I said, continue to move down to 3557. So look for that opportunity. Going over to gasoline. February gasoline. Again, starting off with the whoops, the wrong button there. Go weekly and in the chart up we are making a recent high or trying to tag that recent high this looks the same as crude oil same picture still bullish still above 60 still definitely looking good even if we bring in the weekly moving average we're bullish again and have been for a little while so going to the daily time frame let's see what's going on just look for buying opportunities on the pullbacks there's no demand here though until the origin of the rally it's kind of weird. Oops, wrong button. Yeah, did that wrong. There we go. Nope, wrong one. <laughs> I keep pushing the wrong buttons here. Sorry. All right, there we go. So yeah, nothing really here as far as any kind of strong demand. We'll have to look at a four-hour chart to find something, perhaps. Because I'm looking for buying opportunities, and there is one right here. That's your first. You got a drop base rally where we broke a prior high. So look for that. If we can pull back and the RSI is above 40, 227 is a good buy opportunity with a stop below 225. Just below that, there's another one that's very similar. I'm seeing right here. Again, breakout to new highs. That's what you want to see in a good demand zone anyway. Now, if we're looking for targets, I'm going to go back to the daily chart. And I would use the Fibonacci extensions on our most recent impulse up correction down and there it is 23792 so looking at a possible opportunity to buy on the four hour time frame I'll go back down to it for gasoline where you're going long at 227 with a stop below 22564 and target one 23792 to 24860 also if you wanted the other zone below that in case if it doesn't hold the first one we got 21955 21756 but I think this one's still a pretty good opportunity right there. So that's why I got a gasoline. Finally, we can look at heating oil. And I'll start off on the big picture again, weekly. 
refresh and same picture almost exactly the same so you can see that bullishness we have but we're losing a little bit of momentum compared to previous moves going down to the daily chart still very very bullish you can see the last two lows could not get below 40 so we were able to make new highs nothing really to hold us down from here and we either rally up now look at that we're right at the fibonacci extension that's why i use those so we're expecting a pullback no big deal next target to be 2635 unless we have a good demand zone and we do on the four hour here's your entry point there's only one candle for the basing so it's 24275 24140 you got another zone right below it as well call it zone on zone and basically with that zone on zone you can put your stop underneath the lower zone it does increase your risk but the potential for reward is pretty high and basically what we're going to look at here is the extension of this move 4275 pretty close there you go so you got target number one and i get rid of these you can see there's an overlap of the other one which is even better so Target one, target two with the entry around 24275 with the stop below 240, target one, 25428, target two, 26141. So that's what I got for you on the energy markets. Until next time, trade safe, trade well. Make sure if you enjoyed the video, give me a like and also subscribe so I know you like it and I'll be able to do this again next week. Until then, trade safe, trade well, and take care.